previously on Eurotruck Simulator 2. Thank you. Right, so instantaneous power um, with the whole thing. So, so literally I can just put a foot down and go boom, there we go, 60 kilometers. Oh, well, almost. You know what I mean? You can see the power um, gauge in the bottom there because I'm going particularly hard at it rather than soft. Um, it, oh, oh, mm, there's still a lot of problems with this. I don't, you, you know, also what's the lifespan of the battery? How long they last for? How long does it take to charge? Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, we're kind of, we're not, we're, well, where are we? Let's have a little look where we are first off. World map. I think we're in Sweden. The plan was, um, after I'd done a couple of electric truck journeys, the plan was really to get over here and do and do this side, but but we ended up in Sweden. So so we, let's see if we can get back over to, is this, I think this is Latvia or Lithuania, one of the two. We kind of need to get back over there. And do something. So let's have a little look at the freight market and see if we can find ourselves something that takes us back. I like the way it's now doing the map where we can see the dots of where we haven't been. There's a lot of stuff in Finland. I mean, I wouldn't mind a trip to Finland, actually, again. Quite keen on... Quite happy to go to Finland. Let's see what we can find on these... On the, on the available truck sort of related things. Look at this weight of that. That's just ridiculous. Look at 39 tons. There's no way I can carry that. Just ridiculous. I, I, I mean, can barely handle the last thing. That's Gothenburg. That's not too far away, actually. Let's see what else we got. Where's this one to? Estonia. There's a trip in the middle there. It's actually not a bad little run, that one. Con um, containerized trees. What the hell's a containerized tree? A tree in a container, I guess. <laughs> Look, you've got little things there to tell you what you've got to take with it. <laughs> Containerized trees. Okay, let's go to Estonia, because it's going to take us through this one here. Which is Palis... Pal... Uh, Palisky? Well, wherever it is, we can take it through. We can get into Estonia, and then, and, then, and then we're kind of back where we are with Lithuania. Let's give this one a try. It's a decent enough run. It's um, 470 kilometres, 284 of them by, uh, by, 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 sort of by, by ferry to there, and then back over. So let's get that one. Shouldn't be too far from where I am, I don't think, this particular one. Anyway, how you been? How's your week? Have you been busy? Have you done anything interesting? Has it been... Has it been have you tried the, uh, the new e-trucks? Have you tried one of those? Um, giving them a, giving them, giving them a, giving them a good world. See what you think of them. I've given them a good world now, and I, I am still very undecided about whether what, what the application is. However, I have, uh, I was reading some news recently um, about. Um, oh, I meant to go out the other way. Got to go out the other way. Well, it's all right. We'll go this way. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. I was reading some news recently that uh, Volkswagen, um, you know, big, big, big firm okay, Volkswagen, has decided to uh, invest, like Toyota, like Mercedes, in the, a future in gas um, uh, vehicle, powered vehicles. So we're talking hydrogen gas here, not 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 batteries, but uh, hydrogen gas. And to be fair, considering you can now see the number of Tesla cars that are unsold from space, but they're still given Elon 46 billion or 56 billion dollar bonus, even though you can now see it from space, um, and he needs his money, um, uh, the, 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 this, this, is, this is still uh, very much the future. I have said previously though, I do think hybrid's the future, and a lot of car drivers are, are moving that way, because it's the best of both worlds, it's simple. You get a battery that allows you to run more efficiently in the city centre, and, and you get a, 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 you know, a, 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 an engine that runs a bit longer when you're out, not in the city centre. Here we go. Right, let's look at the available jobs. Let's find the one there. But yes, I, the, very much they have they have decided that the the, the future is is going that to be gas, like hydrogen gas, because with vehicles that can do sort of a thousand kilometres on a hydrogen gas tank, that may be the way to go. So I think you're going to see a hybrid of 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 hydrogen and maybe a battery, or maybe not at all, because well, the output is. I think it's heavy water, though, the output from hydrogen. I don't think it's entirely uh, um, 
sort of what you think it is. So, so yeah, it's it's heavy, it's heavy water, I think, um, which is a different sort of chemical composition slightly, but it's not toxic if that makes sense anyway back of the truck we have our fifth wheel there very shiny looking fifth wheel and we've got to bash that into the old pin that dangles down from underneath the truck can i see one at an angle i'm trying to find an angle i can see one maybe see one from one there yeah, you can see it sort of hanging down on that one just there you can see it the, the, the longer one and basically you have to push two things together um quite firmly because um i've got it on advanced coupling which basically means that i have to hit the two things together uh, very nicely uh, uh, um last week i had a uh, i had a uh, uh, um, somebody on American Truck Simulator telling me that you should never try and reverse these things in um, on the side you can't see. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. I always make a mistake of, of reversing in on, on the side that I can't see um, sometimes. And I, I, I should really make the space and find out where I should be. Um, so that's in. Rolled that right in there like that. And we press T for trailer. And I might press just F3 once here a couple of times to, to make it look nice. There we go, lovely. See the background over there, look. And start the day like that. Roll forward, look. Oh, I can't roll forward. I don't know why I couldn't roll forward there. I'm trying to, it wouldn't let me. Right, okay, nice and wide because this is very close. Nice and wide, come back round, and nice and wide again, or nice and light, coming back round, make sure I've got lots of space, shuffle, 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 looking in the, 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 the mirror, there we go, and I think we're clear, right, okay, so down in the uh, bottom right hand corner we have our GPS, and on the top line of that we've got our speed, which of course is zero kilometres an hour, because we are a stationary, um, then we have the gear we're in, which is A1, automatic one, followed by the damage to the truck, which is now the same image that you get in American Truck Simulator, right? Because you find that quite annoying. I, I don't know about you, but, but that, now I know it's it's basically meant to be both trucks. Um, I find that's quite annoying. I suppose a unified um, dashboard is a good idea in the long run. Anyway, and then we've got the fuel, which is um, sort of nice and full. I think we've only got a little bit that's not. Thanks, guys, for your really uh, uh, useful... useful uh, um, positioning there so that makes it life really difficult for me to get out thanks for that really enjoyed that it's very useful very very useful indeed good picture though very good picture look at that great picture in fact it's a brilliant picture I like that anyway um, so so yes um, it's, uh, it, it's 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 very full um, then we've got the bed which slowly goes blue then finally goes red and then we start falling asleep at the wheel it's our fatigue i like to think it's also our our, our uh, you know sort of taco meter effectively and uh, then we've got the uh, the 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 envelope which is really underused i always say this because it should be used for i guess secret missions when you stay somewhere so if i stay here i should be given the option to do you know i don't know take teddy bears to to, to 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 the north pole or something like that you know what i mean something special it should be allowing you to give you know a more productive job that reduces 10 percent more or 15 percent more that kind of pushes people in that that route to do it can we just guys can we just give over this is my this is me with the uh with the with the with the um i'm gonna press f which is my my hazard lights and see if these buggers will let me out anyway um so yeah, the, the the this is this is this is this is, you know, the, the 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 sort of thing that should be on that particular thing. To be fair, the only thing it really does is provide an insight into uh, what. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Biege nach links ab. Oh, you really are going to do that, aren't you? Come on. Oh, what? What? Come on, somebody let me out. I'm literally on top of it now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right on top of it like that. Look at that, nose to nose. Let me out. Oh, now he thinks he's, he's, he we're in trouble. So I've upset him. I haven't touched him, but he's now got him selling his knickers in a twist. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely unreal. Come on.
No. No, you are not getting away with that. I'm getting out. We're going. I don't care. That was unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. Can't believe that took so long. Anyway, sorry. Um, where was I? Um, so, so then we've got the um, and then we've got the the time, which is eight o three a.m. on Tuesday. Um, then we've got below that a little waypoint flag that tells us our destination, also the speed there, um, which you're speeding at. So, so, so destination at the bottom of the screen, which tells us we're seven hundred and sixty kilometres away, sixteen hours and thirty five minutes, um, and we're going to get in at um, twelve thirty nine. And that's based on me not going across the sea. So it doesn't doesn't have not take that into account yet. So so that will be a thing. I'm going to move over my positioning wise here. It's driving me nuts recently with people. I was I, do you know what? I was on the, I was going along a very major road on the way home today tonight. And I'm not going to bit anything particularly against bicyclists. So feel I feel free to do it. But I do think in this country, if people want to bicycle more, we should be producing um, side roads that are for bicyclists. You know, lanes for the bicyclists to be on. Because this poor little this poor bicyclist, an older gentleman, had uh, would, had gone up a very steep slope, and it's extremely steep. You have to put a bit of you have to you have to you, you, if you were if you have you change down a gear if you take it too slowly basically it's that kind of steep very steep hill um very very busy road i mean we're talking thousands of uh, you know road users daily on this thing and i'm going i'm going i don't care um thousands of road users daily on this thing and um he'd found himself sort of not trapped, but uh, he found himself sort of not able to to, 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 to to use his own power to get up the, the hill. So he's going extremely slowly with a queue of traffic behind him, um, all obviously edging to go past, but on a very narrow road. And ultimately, he got off his bike and started pushing up the hill. I felt a bit sorry for him, realistically. So, you know, I went a little bit slowly to sort of like give him a bit of space to, to get himself sorted. I mean, I, I mean, seriously, it is, it is easily done. I mean, I get that. I mean, it's very easily done it's very easily uh you know uh sort of you end up stuck i may remember bicycling and in back in the day and, and you know having vehicles behind me when when i'm i'm doing things that that car was very close to getting smashed let me just change lanes here i, I think i'm gonna move over checking the mirrors though move my head around but yeah very easy to to end up being in a in a difficult position i think with as bicyclists um, and I did feel very sorry for him, to be honest with you. It wasn't wasn't it wasn't a bit a nice position being sort of overtaken by many vehicles. Um, you know, doing doing sort of trying to get get. I mean, we were all trying to get home. Let's be honest, but but quite hard, especially out in the countryside as well. These are the kind of scenarios where they get people get knocked over in the middle of you know in the middle of the winter and aren't found for for for, for a long time because they're in some kind of bush somewhere. I heard a horror story years ago about um, uh, 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 you know a chap who'd have been uh, he'd, he'd got he'd got he'd been in a crash. He was on a motorcycle. He'd, he'd been le lost, sort of control. The motorcycle was there on the ground. Um, the ambulance had been, and they didn't know he'd been thrown into the field over there. And he, he ended up spending more time in the field than he should have done. It took a while to find that the where he'd been thrown into. But look at these helicopters, these helicopters, these jet planes. This is this is the home of Saab. I'm guessing the home of um, making jet engines. Loved it when Saab used to make jet engines. I loved. To be fair, the Saab was a cracking vehicle. I still, when you see them on the road, I'm always a bit sort of, um, you know, jealous of the fact that they're still running. They're they're an amazing machine. It's just a shame that they all died off. It's a very much a shame that a lot of stuffs died off. The J Chinese market, of course, is threatening the European market of cars at the moment by by suggesting that their their vehicles, their electric vehicles, are going to be the thing of the future. But of course, we've already established they're probably not at this moment in time. It's not technology's not there. The unregulated mining of uh, of lithium is 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 a danger to as toxic as anything else. Um, and we're kind of caught the edge of the road there, making it sort of vibrate. Um, yeah, the, the, the res, there's some blooming issues, as they say. There's some blooming issues. Look at that. Lovely. Brilliant view. Been a while since I've been out on this. We've had electric for a while. I still like the roar of the engine, though. I think that's quite cool. Don't really get a roar of an engine nowadays, because they're all like one litres, aren't they, that are turbocharged. I think that's what they, they tend to do. It's like the, when I was telling you about that, um, I think it was a Toyota Aigo that I had. It's a dreadful machine. Less litre, litre machine. Oh, horrendous. Mm. Oh, 
I've got a cup of coffee, by the way. I hope you've got a beverage too. Um, but yeah, dreadful machine. Horrible, horrible, horrible machine. I really didn't enjoy it. Um, I've, I've, I've been lucky enough in my life to drive quite a lot of vehicles, but, but, but that, but that one, uh, yeah, that one, that one can, that one, I don't really see the, the point of. I mean, as a, even as a city car, the fact that it roars when it gets up to 30 or 40 miles per hour just is ridiculous. And that was the, that's the automatic version of it, the, the version which should be, you know, pretty straightforward to use. I love the key on that, that, that on there when you go past it. Little key there. I've got a coffee in my hand. Otherwise, I would I would look upwards. So I've got my coffee. I can't 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 look upwards. You just pretend that we looked upwards anyway. So, uh, but yeah, I don't. I can't imagine it being much fun. But I suppose fuel efficiency wise, it's probably perfect for a journey in the, in around the city. I've got the company van for next week, um, and and it's quite efficient actually. It does sixty two. To 64 um, uh, miles to the gallon. It's not a particularly powerful machine, but it, it's, it's at least got a, a relatively decent um, uh, uh, engine on it. So, so it's not bad at all, realistically. It's relatively decent. Don't mind driving it. I don't never dri mind dri driving vans. I've driven driven vans quite a lot, and I don't mind them. Think, I think they're quite a good experience, you know. I think there's something. These are things that are lacking. I mean, I, I was talking to a colleague of mine, and for instance, they're taught now to use the, the 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 electronics in their vehicle as part of the whole thing. So when you're reversing and you've got a rear camera, you, they use that as well as the side ones. And I'm I think to myself, really, this is a this is this is a this is a thing. Look at that. That is cool. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, but but they're taught nowadays to use all of those things, and I get that. You've got to use all the tools at your disposal to look around. But what they miss out on is what you learn when you drive a van. If you drive a van, an old enough van, or even a truck, you've got to learn to use your mirrors and where you can see what you can see, and you need to look around the whole thing. And I think I think that's a skill that we aren't teaching anymore. It's almost like I, I almost feel like driving instructors should take those facilities out of the vehicle and teach you how to drive um, properly before they teach you how to use all the electronics does that make sense so so you know using rear view mirrors and 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 proper mirrors on the side none of this electrical stuff and then reversing properly as part of that reversing sensors not being a thing either i mean that's one thing i've got to say about the the company van has no reversing sensors so so it is it is pretty easy to to effectively run into something if you if you if you don't know the size of the vehicle which i think as i say do you do you not think that's a, is it maybe just me is that just me is that a learning experience that we should be, should still be there? I think it's a learning experience that should still be there, to be honest with you. Definitely do. Right, put, locked in. Oh, go do 80 kilometres in here. I want to do 80 kilometres. Some lovely colours of cars on the road. I'm still I'm still believe that, that that should be a thing, that there should be more coloured vehicles on the road. You know, sort of lots and lots. We live in a world where we can have as many colours as we like and everybody buys black and white and silver. You know, that that's it. That's all that's on the road. Why don't you want a colourful car? What's wrong with a colourful car? Do you not want to stand out for a bit? Just for five minutes to be that, that, that colourful car. If I had a you know, if I had a chance and to be fair, I have had a lime green car in my lifetime. Um but, but I think if I had a chance to, to, to oh, I'm letting myself drift speed wise here. Um didn't realise I was drifting down. I if you had, you know, I I I, I, I would have I would have a, a fluorescent green um, a car again, definitely. I loved fluorescent green. Um, I definitely think I would have a... Um, oh, look at this. Wow. Very cool indeed. Wow. Yeah, definitely, definitely not. Definitely have a a fluorescent green um, vehicle again. I think I think that would be a, a thing for me. It's this one. Go up this one and go down. Um, yeah, and I, 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 the one colour I'd really like is I like that orange that's on the side of my truck here. 
you know, I think that's a really nice orange. I think that's a nice sort of, uh, you know, a, a sharp colour. I do like fluorescent colours. I think, to be fair, as, as a kid that grew up with all the fluorescent colours of the of the eighties and whatever else it is, I kind of miss those 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 colours being in there. I, I kind of like those. I think maybe it was just me, but 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 I I rather enjoyed. Um, the fact that we were also brightly coloured, or we could be brightly coloured, um, and I think I think I think something lost on the, the current generation. You know, we had we had bright pink things and bright blue things and bright yellow things. All that all, all that fluorescent yellow of the, you know, having that pen set when you were at school with those fluorescent colours in was just amazing. I remember parking down there to get that film footage. It was blooming awesome, and then I did some dodgy driving to come out the top of here, and that was amazing. Um, anyway, police car, it's going to pull out on me. Please don't hit the police car. I have not hit a police car. Um, is he still underneath me? He's still underneath me, though. Yeah, you just behave yourself over there. I'm coming off at this next one, it says, I think. A weird-looking building over there, look at that. What the hell's that? What a weird looking building that is. That was weird, that building. It's a photo op, actually, whatever it is. Anybody know what it is? I know that I could take the photo op, but I'm not going to because I, I just like driving the truck. So, like, we like, we've got to enjoy driving the truck. Yeah, but, what's it saying? Um, so, so, yeah, I did, I did, I like those neon, those neon colours. I loved them. I think it's really good. I'm a, I'm a sucker for sort of, um, what I would call um, that synthwave sound at the time as well. I really like it, and I like neon. I think it neon looks brilliant. It's lovely neon. What the heck is that thing? Some weird tribute thing, something like that. I'm going. Oh, it's giving way to me. Thank you. I think I have right of way there, you know. I'm pretty convinced of that. Pretty convinced that's the the way I'm meant to drive the the whole thing. I think I've, I'm meant to to, to 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 have the right of way across there. I like the the fact that they go to the trouble of putting the green on there because it's been there for a while. And it's all a bit dirty and green. I really like it. I really, really like it. I like the fact that there's neon colours for trucks in this as well. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? How people think about things. I think it's funny how we get, uh, maybe possibly as we get older, we get more boring and we do, we're like, oh, we need a grey car. I've had blue cars. I've had purple cars. Purple was, uh, it was Imperial um, purple. Beautiful. Slightly blue. I've had pearlescent cars. I've had green pearlescent cars. It was also purple when you looked at it, certainly, in a certain light. Amazing. I haven't had a yellow car. I wouldn't mind a yellow car, just seeing that go past there. Have you had many coloured cars? Currently got a red car. I'm not very keen on red, though. That's the one I'm not very keen on. If it was up to me, it would be a be a light blue like that truck over there. Blue car. I think I'd like that. I think I'd like a truck like that. I like that kind of... I think I'd call that a sort of neon blue. Or a pastel blue. Well, no, it's sharper than a pastel blue because it's sort of brighter. I think I would like that kind of blue if I had a car. In fact, that's the colour I'd like my car to be. I think it would be nice to do that. But, you know, respraying a car or even wrapping it is quite an expensive thing, realistically. And, it's, and I'm not that excited about it, to be honest with you, that I would need to do that. Okay, he's pulling right over that yellow car at me in. Thank you. And here we go, coming up. I think, I think we're coming up on it. I have no idea, actually. No idea where we are now. I'll just give it up. I'm trying to work it out. We're just travelling till we get to the coast, and then we're going to take a ferry. I love a bit of ferry action. It's very dark all of a sudden, quite overcast. 
11.27 and the sun's a little bit dappling through the through the whole whole sort of sky. It's really cool. Went out to uh, um, see a potential uh, potential new uh, client and uh, they live in the middle, literally in the middle of nowhere and it was utterly amazing. It was a brilliant drive. And when I got there, um, they'd been invaded by uh, over a hundred bu- uh, motorcyclists or motorbikers um, on a guided tour. It was really cool. Hundred of them, though. Hundred bikes, all kinds of uh, different ones. People had brought over from the c- different countries to to in, to in, to. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, hundreds of bikes though. It was amazing. Well, it was a hundred bikes actually, but either way, it was it was it was very cool. I admit, I was I was quite I was quite it was quite nice to see all of them. Very pleasant people as well. I chatted to a couple of them. Nice people. I think that's a biker thing, though. I think for most cases, bikers are quite nice people. These were German, though, and American. It was very weird. Never thought of German American. I was, to be fair, I seen that German. They were German, and there was definitely some other Europeans there. Uh, that were there. The two I spoke to were there was one from the, from from the states and one from uh, one from one from Germany. Okay, I think this is coming up. Yeah, they're coming up to our dock now. I feel like we've been here before. I definitely know we've been here before. There's a bed staying area up ahead. We're not going in there though. We're going this way. I mean, to be fair, we could go around it. Let's go around there. Let's go around here. Well, let's come back. Yeah, go around here. Look at that. There's a little staying spot. Cool. That's a bit awesome. It's a big one, actually. It's a lovely place to stay. Right by the sea as well. You can see all the ferries coming and going. Lovely. Brilliant. I thought we'd just circle around it, add it to the to the destinations that I've done, because there's, there's an achievement, isn't there, for doing all the maps? But I think it's not all the maps. I think it's all the original maps that were in the game. I love the fact that this is such a fantastic game and it's still it's still going. Now they're a little bit different this week. If you've uh, decided to look at the other things that I've I've done, I've done it on um, uh, on the, the the game Hell Divers, which I'm really enjoying at the moment. So if you want to have a little look at that, feel free to to. Uh, I'm going to go through here. Yeah, on Hell Divers. I did a little video on that because I think this is where we nearly went off the edge. I remember this. Pretty sure this is where I nearly went 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 off the edge while I was asleep. Oh, it's awesome. Remember that? Anyway, yeah, I did it on Hell Divers this week. Um, you may not may or may not be interested, but I, I I feel it's worth at least listening to my rubbish for a bit because. It's quite, it's quite, it's it's different than the usual sort of uh, what I would call life service game, and I'm not a big fan of those, as you know fine well from my many speeches about it, um, that you've had to sit through while watching me trucking, and you just wish I'd get to the destination and stop stop whining about it. Um, <laughs> okay, let's find out where we're going. We're gonna go there, um, which is that one. Nine hours. Embark. And we've arrived at 9.20 in the evening. So the handbrake will be on. And I'll turn on my lights. And we'll, we'll go for it. Air pressure is too low, apparently, according to the middle of the dash. It will build up over time. That's the pressure, it, just, it, it, it affects my ability to stop as we come out of here. And we've got another 222 kilometres to do. We're going to get in at uh, 12.42 um, in, the, in the evening. Um, of course, we're in a Scandinavian... Not, it's not Scandinavian, is it? But we're in a country that might not get too dark. I mean, it's already 9.30 and it's not that dark. I'll put the cruise control on. I don't think I can at uh, 20 kilometres an hour. I cannot. That's a really annoying. Yeah, to turn up here, apparently. A broken old house there. Somewhere to stay. 
and um, proper speeding here. I think I've been here before, actually. I feel, I feel like this is somewhere we've been before. It's quite dice. Look at it. It's also very diastopic. Look at this car. Larder Reaver of old, really old cars. Wow. Let's go. I think we're meant to do 20 kilometres until we get out of here, but I'll be honest, I don't think anybody's going to catch me if I do a bit faster. No, there's nobody going to catch me. Catch me if you can. No, there's nobody going to catch me here. Oh, God. Car underneath me. Probably wasn't meant to just turn out like that, but hey... I did. <laughs> 50 kilometers an hour here. That's better. I do fly around here. Look at that big yellow truck. I love it. It's quite pretty, actually, isn't it? Is this Lithuania? I think it is Lithuania, isn't it? Very pretty. There we'll go. 90 kilometers an hour. 50 kilometers an hour. Very bizarre. Fuel depot. Another 50 kilometers an hour. Let's keep that in there. Like that. No trains coming thus far. So let's go over that little... Very narrow that, wasn't it? For its for, for a train. And uh, we got traffic lights. We'll slow down and stop. I've really enjoyed. I've, I've enjoyed this journey, actually. I've got, look, I've got to pull across now. I should have realised that earlier. We'll have a little look. See what the traffic lights are doing, and we're off. Brilliant. Now I do. I recommend having a look at uh, if you if you want this week at uh, at my um, other video, Hell Divers video, only because I've become, uh, as I say, I, I think it's a really good game. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I've become quite obsessed by it, a bit like I am with uh, with with Euro Truck Simulator. I really quite enjoy driving this um, a lot. And as I say, I've, I've backed off the American Truck Simulator. I will bring it back, but but I backed off for the moment. It's just not very popular. And and if it's not very popular, and I'm enjoying driving Euro Truck Simulator, which is very much the same sort of thing, but in a scenario I like better. Um, then I don't see much point in recording all the time or as regularly for for that series. So so sorry if you're a big fan of the American Truck Simulator. I do apologise. I do. I, I have not. It's not for um, you know. It's time, isn't it? It's always the, that's the, the one thing we all want back in our lives. More time. I definitely want more time. That's what it is. More time for things. More time for me. Less time for 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 things we don't like. That's what we want. Well, the rest more time for things you don't like. All the things that are good. All the interesting things. Is it Mars where it's uh, and one year on Mars is actually three years in on? Uh... Oh, hello! Something happening here. Oh dear! Oh, nasty crash! Yeah, is it? It's Mars. I think it's one year is three years of, of, of on Earth time. Can you imagine that though? I remember the, there's a movie by John Carpenter called Ghost to Mars, and they do mention that, to be honest with you, that, that, that it's one year rotation of Mars is equivalent to three years rotation on Earth. That'd be a bit harsh, wouldn't it? You took a contract there for two years, or two, two, two Martian years, and you've discovered you're actually for six years. How'd your birthday work on that, though? Martians must be very young. <laughs> I think I like the idea of Martian years now. I'm, 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 I'm warming to it. It'll probably make me about 18 now or something like that in Martian years. Prime of my life and all that. Not having a bad back or anything. To be fair, my back is feeling so much better. I've been, I've, I've obviously, I've been, I, you know that I've, I've sort of had physio and chiropractor stuff in the past, but uh, um, I've, I'm, I'm, I've been, I'm continuing to do my chiropractor when required. And I had a bad Christmas where I ended up pulling myself again by sort of sneezing and coughing too hard. But you know what? Starting to feel a lot better now. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I think, I think my my meet my visits to the chiropractor are going to be significantly reduced the next time I go. I think it's going to be. You know, three or four months before she needs to see me again next. So, 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 yeah, it's great. Realistically, I'm feeling a lot better. It's weird because I, I'm kind. You get used to waking up in pain, and then 
you wake up and you're not in pain and it's the weirdest thing and there's yum yums I really fancy a burger now they look lovely I think they look great on the back of that van yeah but you get, kind of get used to the feeling of waking up in pain and then and then one day you're not and it's brilliant maybe I'm dead <laughs> I died in my sleep and didn't nobody told me I'm a zombie now <laughs> And the Euro Truck simula Simulator Zombie. Does that mean I don't have to pay taxes if I'm a zombie? Do zombies pay taxes? I don't know. I don't think they do. I would like to be a thing that zombies don't pay taxes. That that yum yum chuck is getting undertaken by me at high speeds. I like the I like the way the um, dusk comes here. Doesn't quite. Doesn't quite. Um, it's oh, it's ethereal. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of mist on the ground as well now. Pretty convinced there is. Oh, it's nice. We're cutting through it all. Oh yeah, it's that. It's a lovely time of the of the night where you where you where you're uh, sort of cutting through the the, the 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 scenery. Wow. Feels like there's mist on the top of. It. I can almost feel the temperature here. I'm not sure what temperature it is, but I can almost feel it. Whoa! That was close. Fun, but close. I knew it was going to be close. Look at the mirrors. Look at the mirrors. The, st the stars in the sky in the mirrors. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's nice. It's nice. It reminds me to go outside and look at the star look at the sky occasionally. I don't know about you. It'd be nice to go outside. Look at the sky. It's all romantic in a trucker's life. <laughs> it's all romance. That's what it is. It's all romance. That's what that's what they love. A bit of romance. Tart you. That's what it's called. We're at Tart you now. Uh, please car. We're 95 kilometres away, an hour and 25 minutes, game time that is. It's a good run, I've enjoyed it, it's been fun. It has been fun. What are you enjoying most at the moment? What's the game you're enjoying most? If you, if you, if you, you know, I think, I think Mark, um, who, who, who gave me many, of, great people actually have, have followed this. Bobster who brought me back to the whole thing, and I hope Bobster's okay, I've not heard from him for a while. Um, hit, um, you know, Hatman. I was going to say Hitman there. That's a good, two totally different person. Is a, ha is a whatever. Oh, Speedy. Um, uh, Hatman, he, he, you know, with it, with his hints and tips as well. I mean, everybody's been really good and really supportive, and it's been fantastic. Um, but uh, I think I think Mark said that he was playing Mark Middleton. This is uh, see him in the comments below if you if you say hello to him if if you're there. Um, but 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 uh, Mark Mark was Mark is playing. I think it was Railroad something or other. There wasn't Tycoon, it was Railroad Simulator or something similar. And to be fair, he did he did inspire me to buy uh, Metro Simulator, but I just can't get my head around it. It's not very good though. It was only cheapy, realistically, from uh, from GOG. I love a bit of a cheapy, um, but 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 I wasn't. Sh but this this one is a bit too cheap, I think. A bit weird as well. Difficult, to, difficult, to, difficult to control. A lot of button pressing that I wasn't really ready for. And what I would call not obvious button pressing. Nice turn here from this truck. Nobody here. Look at that. That's a proper Eastern European van there. Yeah, very Eastern European. One hour and eight minutes. Yeah, Mark was the one who suggested that about using lots of space, putting the uh, whoa advanced coupling on. All the important things that that, that uh, um, you know that we should do, uh, you know, Bob's just suggested changing the mirrors to this, plus the the traffic density increase, which you can do yourself if you have a little look in the description below. You'll see how to to, to do traffic increase traffic density, um, and then of course Hatman suggested changing the number of incidents that occur on the road. Really good good thought. Look at that. It definitely, it's definitely a fog there, isn't there out there? Or is that just me? That just really feels like a fog on the, on the, on there. Just that moisture in the air, or the evening moisture. But uh, yeah, the, he suggested that. I, honestly, I've, everybody's been brilliant. Thank you very much, um, chaps, for 
for uh, making make making me enjoy um that because i stopped stopped for a while and i say bobster brought me back he sent me a message saying please can i have some more um please sir can i have some more I was just like oliver um so 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 in, in oliver twist the uh the charles dickens story yeah he, he asked for he asked for more and um i i obliged and found i was really loving it again so i was quite delighted to come back to it and i'd still like this um i mean i can tell that it's, it's watched a number of times by a number of people not sure how, who else is watching it who doesn't say hello but if you want to say hello in the comments below say hello i'm a lovely person to talk to i don't mind I'm not very good at doing the comments but i am a lovely person there are other lovely people in the in the in this watching my my videos as well so so all three of them um <laughs> A good three and a, and, and a dog or something like that, but 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 it's all good. I really like it. I really like it. I've really enjoyed it. I can It still still surprised me today that I've got to to, to sort of two thousand subscribers, two thousand and a bit subscribers actually. Still surprised me today that I got to that. I remember getting to a thousand and being surprised. I got to a thousand and I had the hours. Can you believe that? I actually got to a thousand and had the hours to do it. You you have to be a thousand. You have to be a thousand hours. Um, uh, uh, sorry, not a thousand hours, a thousand subscribers and four thousand of views to be to become, uh, you know, um, something that YouTube is all of a sudden interested in because you're generating the, the enough time being viewed. And it's really amazing. Every month, by the way, over 840 hours of my videos are watched. I know I've got a lot of videos, but that's a lot of time that people spend watching my videos. It amazes me, to be honest with you. 840 hours? It's insane! That's insane! Who's watching it all? <laughs> Make yourself known, please! You lovely people. Right, okay, we're almost there. 26 miles. A little random side, side, side thing again, as usual. Me on a little random, random chat. If you ever want me to discuss something, you've got a you want me to do a something on a thought that you've had, and you would like me to sort of think of, see what I had a thought on it, um, please feel free to tell me in the comments because um, I'm happy to randomly chat about something random if it is random enough. There's a lovely view here of some kind of church. Look, There's obviously, at um, Tartu. There, it's a church in Tartu. We've been to Tartu before by looking at looks things. Lovely place. Yes. But as I say, um, I didn't even know that's where we were going, to be honest with you. I do talk about all kinds of random things. I think experience in life is a really important thing. You know, the older you get, the more life experiences you have, you know, and the, and the more, more, more stuff you have in your head that you can share. Got loads of stuff. Barely touched the surface with all the things that I, I, I randomly discussed. Look at this, just a random bucket in the road. And a, and a pickaxe. Random bucket and a pickaxe. And the, this is the view, by the way, that you're meant to be looking at, this church here. It's very impressive. Anyway. There's a camera on the uh, map down there. Oh, it's nighttime cap things where they, they flash amber when it's nighttime. Speed, 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 not a speed camera, but a speed, whatever it is. That's brilliant. Let's go. And we're getting there. Can't turn down there. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like there's nowhere to stay here, though. I'm looking at the map and I'm thinking, there's nowhere to stay. Where are you going? All the way around? Just that way. Off that way. Here I go. Mm -hmm. I love the way Vin Diesel's always evolved. She says, Vin Diesel al swat. I'm not sure what that means, and I hope I haven't said something very rude in German. But, uh, yeah, something to do with Vin Diesel. I'm just going for it. You can wait. Here's our destination. A nice big yard here. This is, should make life relatively straightforward, I hope. 
Let's hope it does. Let's hope it makes life relatively Thank straightforward. Amazing game. Amazing game. Yeah, that looks good. We could do that. I think it's over there. Yes, it is. It's down over there. Right, okay, let's come on in. It's over that corner. Let's swing all the way around. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There it is. Do you know, it's a bit of a shame. One of the things I was going to say that it's a bit of a shame that I can't actually get, you know... Come on, straighten up. There we go. Uh, this will be this will should be an easy one. Let's take a very leisurely drive towards it. Very leisurely. Look at that. Do do do. Three kilometers an hour. I'm going at three kilometers an hour. It's probably not good enough actually. That angle. Let's, let's adjust this angle a little bit. Do that. Just, ju just gently rolling her in. And then this way. Shouldn't do it offside, but I am. And then let's roll her in. This may or may not work. We'll give it a go. Are we are we too far over? Oh, I'm a little too far over. Let's just adjust it slightly. I thought we had it there. You can see me in the driver's seat. Look, we're giving it, giving it wild. Right, let's have a little reverse. That should be perfect now. Yeah, that's perfect. Just a little bit of turn on there. Just a little bit. A little wiggle. And she's in. And she's in. Beautiful. Let's press the T button and let's drop that trailer and find somewhere to stay for the night. That was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. There's my experience. Yes. And now I am... Still king of the road. Need to get to level 40, 50 to get to be legend. Not quite legend yet. Working on it. Right, okay. Let's have a look at the navigation. Let's look at the world map. See if we can find us some sort of somewhere to, to stay for the night. From our location. Okay. Closest place. I think it's probably here. Let's go there. Because we can pass this place here and get that as well. So, so twenty kilometres. Let's get, let's, let's, let's go. I quite, quite can't get used to that being up there. The, the, the sort of the drive thing. But we'll go for it. Let's go. Now, navigation's been updated with the new location. Do 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 do. Stop. Oh, that was close. I do whip around once, I once I've got rid of my load. I'm a bit naughty, really. I just sort of fly. Well, there's anything wrong with that. Just, just you know, get that bit of horsepower going and fly, fly around wherever I am. I'm going for it. There's a car there, but I flew out because I was quicker away. I love the way the light dapples off the dashboard as we go through under the lights. It's very cool. It's very cool. The whole thing about this game is it's very cool. It's a very cool game. With big, big flats and things like that. No high rises, I think that was. Off we go. And then we're off. 70 kilometers an hour. Allowed to do that a little bit faster. 
Get to this roundabout here. There's police. Good job I passed it going slower. 1.44 a.m. Down the bottom right-hand corner, you can tell the time. 1.44 a.m. That's good. What a time. What a time in life. Am Kreisverkehr, erste Ausfahrt nehmen. Here we go, and off this one. And into this town. Ooh, looks like a road down there, look. I'm not sure where it goes to, but... It is a road, sorry about sniffing. Biege nach links ab. Yeah, you can wait. Lovely. On we go. Daft dealership. Gets added to the list. Ding! You've discovered a dealership. Thank you for that. can actually stay some dealerships. It's not where I'm going, though. I'm going round to that far end bit. So let's, we'll enjoy that little trip round there at the back. And we'll give it a go. This has got a nice dash in this, by the way. I do think this is quite a smooth little dash in this machine. It's quite nice. Lots of big, chunky, easy-to-use buttons. I do like that. You can you can smell the VW all over it, though. Because man being owned by Volkswagen, you can you can smell that uh, that sort of styling. Volkswagen always have this sort of. I always think have this sort of chunky thing to their design, don't they? Let's go around here. Up. We'll go in this dodgy looking car park at the end there. This one here. Look at this. Oh. Lights are come on. A little, there's a little porter cabin and a facility. Now oh, some parking spots here. Perfect. We'll, we'll stop in the... Uh, um, I won't get murdered here place tonight. Let's press the button. Uh, sleep the night. We should get up about 9pm? 10pm. Perfect. And we haven't been murdered, which is even more impressive. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Team, and thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.